Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Sashtopia. I hope you're all doing very well today. We have a new member of the family. He came to us on Saturday. I am so excited. Um, and he is uh, just adorable. We have got a little puppy. His name is Bjorn and he's a little labrador retriever and he's the cutest little thing he's a nightmare um we're currently really really busy with him while we're potty training because he's only nine weeks old so nearly 10 um but yeah it's just been hectic so i am gonna try and upload as much as possible for you guys we are playing a new game today for you and i'm so excited because it is another episode in the fierce to fathom franchise ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, I saw it on Itch.io earlier while I was scrolling and I was like, I'm playing that one because it's new, because it's new and we're following, we've played episode one and we've played two and this one is Carson House. So let me tell you a little bit about it before we dive right in. So in the third episode of Fears Fathom, you play as Noah Baker, an 18 year old who got a small job offer to house it for the COO of a local media company for the weekend. He takes the offer as he had nothing interesting going on for that weekend. It wasn't long before he began experiencing something very unsettling about the place. Little did he know what was about to come. He survived as he made the right choices. Episode 3, Carson House, September 24. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I thought he was 18 in the description I just read, okay? He's just aged 10 years. That's fine. That's fine. Press any key. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. Oh, okay. This happened to me when I was 18. So this happened 10 years ago. Right, okay. That makes more sense. It didn't, you know. He didn't just write it as he survived. God. But I remember this incident like it was yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. I think anything like that, you are just going to remember. Anything traumatic is going to just haunt you forever and ever. And it. Oh. For a little background. My dad was a realtor and almost al always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. <laughs> me. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. Well. I mean, if you're getting paid that much, you might as well, right? I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. So yeah, you're doing your schoolwork, you're studying, you're getting paid for it. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. I think in this day and age, a lot of people just get given things to them on a plate. And I think you do have to learn that you earn you need to do things to earn your keep and get your pocket money and stuff, so that's, that's good. My dad drove me to the house. Okay, this is not the house though, is it? Change, one dollar and five dollar. This is the laundrette, why, why are we in the laundrette? Oh, uh, ooh, game. Can we play this? No. Nope. Right. Do we do we do? No, cannot go there. Just do your laundry. I had loved to have um, a washing machine and a dryer like this. I think they're so cool. I love the American style like ones. I I don't know if these are just old fashioned. I know they're old. They were old fashioned for like us as well. I think we did used to have like those. They have, but they have bigger drums and you could put more in, and they were just a bit more durable than the washing machines you get nowadays. Or dryers, whatever these ones are, because I don't know what they are. Right, I thought he took me to the house. There we go, notice employees only. Wow, this is a long row of dryers, washing machines, whatever they are. Oh, okay. 
Shift to sprint. Why are we running? Why are we running? Why have I got no wobbly? Am I high? Am I getting gassed out right now? I think you need to empty that bin. Okay. Fun. Ah! Ooh! There's a man. What are you doing down here? Watching that weird TV. Bleach. What? Where did you put it? What is this place? Who are you? Where did I put what? Where did I put what? Where is bleach? I need bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna put, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, I need bleach. Okay, sir. Right, you don't need to be that weird with me. Okay. I can't move. Why is go? Oh, there we go. Noah. Oh, I have to click that. Really? Noah. Nap time's over. We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. Oh my god, I feel like I'm talking to a child. I was dreaming. I was dreaming that I was at the laundrette. I didn't know you had to click that. I just thought you could click anywhere. Noah, wake up. Oh my god, I was in I was in his car. I was in my dad's car. I fell asleep in the car. You still think you can do this? How long did I doze off for? Doesn't matter. Can you do this now? I got this. Ray called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. Why would you put it in the backyard? I mean, I know, because people, you don't want people breaking in, but oh my god, I have to walk around to the back. And I like keys. I like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. Only in it for the snacks. You know, I really, really, it was a nice neighborhood. It was a nice neighborhood, isn't it? I feel like this might be a little bit similar to Home Alone, maybe, um, because it's got that creepy kind of like, don't open the doors to anybody, don't do nothing, you know? I, ju I do just feel like it's gonna have that, that kind of, that kind of vibe thing. Is that the fake rock? Uh, hello? Good dog, good home. Where's the fake rock then? Where's the doggy? I don't like the music. Oh, look, there's the doggy. There's the pooch. Uh, hey, boy. What's your name? Oh, isn't he cute? Look. Something's going to go terribly wrong with him. Look at him. Show me where this fake rock is. Oh, we got a swimming pool. For a swim. It's like I'm walking. I got a little wet. <laughs> it's like he tells the story is how you're doing like this thing. I don't even know what I'm saying in the moment. The fake rock was by the old doghouse. Oh, okay. Why am I crouching? Can I get up, please? There we go. <laughs> Sorry. I am just honestly so shit. the old dog house uh, is this the fake rock fake rock key I've got it okay this is what I'm holding go in through the back come on boy are you coming I don't want to leave him out there on his own boy okay I had to pee Okay, we're going to the toilet then. We're really doing this. Where's the dog? Oh, I care too much about animals. Do not disturb for any reason. Ooh, look, it's a green screen room. Amazing. Love this. Okay. I have to pee. Where is your toilet? Nice living room. Love it. Oh, this is another room to that place. Okay. I'm gonna work this out. I really had to be. Yeah, I'm trying to find. Ryle was too 
too lazy to model the garage. Oh, okay. Oh, here are the stairs. The bathrooms. I realized the house is way bigger than I was. You don't say. This house is huge. I kind of wish I had a house this big. Mr. Carson's bedroom had the weird, this weird smell of wet clothes. Ew. Can't open it from there. Oh, that's silly. Why? That's a laundry room. Dude, where the fuck is your bathroom? Oh my god, American houses are so strange. Seriously? There's like literally... Ah! The bathroom! Where's the toilet? I literally had to click that to wait. I'm pissing standing up. This is the first time I've pissed standing up. And look at it! It's spraying on the side. Oh, that's me. I can, I can direct my way. I can direct the way. Oh my god. No way. Can we flush the toilet? And wash your hands. Ooh, text message. Escape. Okay, what have we got? Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson. Um, what message have we got here? I like to read and get the... Um, the, f the full story. Um, there we go. So iPhone now. My bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Cosson. My pleasure, really. Haha. -ha. He's my dad. Right, okay. So, we'll read this from Evelyn Cooper. We don't know who Evelyn is so far. It must be a friend. Oh. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Roy's been a little sick lately. He must be the dog. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house now that I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. So, we got to look after the house, after the dog. We're here for the full weekend. You know? We haven't paid a hundred. Hundred! Anyhow, as I was saying, um, because he keeps texting and it's doing my... Fuck me! You are a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement, right on it. That sounds like a really good idea. I've got to get him into the house. <sighs> Can I read this text message now? This school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you are either. Let me call you in a bit. Pick up. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me. I just think I really disappointed him with Cara. Not again, Noah. You have to stop beating yourself about up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but still feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, you've got some making up to do here. The grudge next weekend, wink wink. 100% wink wink. This little baby. Oh, she got pussycats. I'm honestly jealous of Ava. I know, right? Just had this weirdest dream ever. So he's told her about the dream. And now we've got to go. And so this must be his girlfriend, maybe? His new girlfriend? Or his, you know, his new one? Or his best friend? I don't know. It's weird. So, and we've now got to get the... Ooh. The... How do I escape this? There we go. Uh, we've got to get the dog food from the basement. Who keeps the dog food in the basement, man? Oh my god, now I gotta find the basement. Jeez. Jeez, all the weeds. It's gonna be here, right? Okay. The basement was a little too dark. Right. Uh. I almost forgot, I apologise, those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Oh, you, you could have told me that before I got lost. Storage room upstairs, there's a flashlight. Okay, cool. Where's the dog? Zeke! Storage room, storage room upstairs. 
The last one we played of this, I had to hide in a freaking cupboard until and this guy didn't come and it was terrifying. <sighs> and I just know this is gonna be like 10 times worse. Storage cupboard, where would the storage cupboard be? That's a little boy's room or a little kid's room. Is this a store? Oh, this is the storage room. Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's go down and get this food. Bam, 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 bam. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can see your halo. You know you're my saving grace You're everything I need and more It's written all over your face Baby, I can see your halo See your halo, halo Is this a bug food? Is that dog food? That looks like a bug of dog food Okay, I've got itchy nose, sorry guys Why is that not- Oh, that's a dog food oh, It was there all along? Oh my god. Oh, he has his food outside. Oh, that's really sad. Had to open the can. Oh! I have to open the can. <laughs> I have to open the can. Of course I have to open the can. They've made this like as realistic as possible. Okay, where the fuck is the can opener? Is that the can opener there? Is this it? Nope, that... I knew it was. Uh, let's put that down. And go and... They've got the scary noises already. I'm just going to feed the freaking dog, man. He's well trained. Get your food, boy. Good boy. Mmm. Nom 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 nom. Hey, kid. Heard from Walter you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer's been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh, yeah. You got a whole security system set up here? So he's got like cameras and stuff. That's interesting to know, I think. Is it? I don't know, maybe. Does the dog just stay outside? I feel like that's really bad. Have a lot of expensive equipment laying around, don't want anything to happen to it. Yeah, because he's obviously uh, thinking, yeah, I understand. I'll just, have, I'll just take a look at your computer. Okay, we're going to put this down because I don't need that no more. Yep. I should have put it in the bin. Thanks, kid. You're welcome, Mr. Carson. Anything for you, Mr. Carson. His laptop, maybe not his computer. I know that they are very similar. Ale Carson 5387. That's to. Oh, okay. Why am I crouching? We can see the doggy. That's quite. I, I. I don't like that. It, it's gotta be that because there's no other. He hasn't got like an. Oh no, he has. Mr. Off, Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work. Yeah. Space to get up. I remember I was doing calculus that night. Mm hmm. need to remember oh shit I need to remember this five 
387. Okay, let's do this. Welcome! This is like old school, isn't it? Like real old school. Right, what we were looking at. Ed Ina. The system has come out under critical error. Mm hmm. So, how. Guess the flag. So, internet browser. Free trial for a limited period. Protect your computer. Get full protection. Dun 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 dun. Download now. Yep, you gotta get. You've gotta protect your um, computers and laptops and whatever from viruses and stuff because if you don't, pop-ups can get through. You can get really bad malware and stuff, and then people can actually hack into your um, computers and they can steal like information. They can steal pictures, um, and yeah. Threats found. We found one threat, so that's bad. We found two threats now. And you should do a scan quite regularly as well because you need to know what is going on. Five threats found. Wow. Six. Seven. Security threat. Risk high. Infection location. The result threat is not removed. So let's remove this threat because we don't want it there no more. It's causing too many problems. They can just cause so much problems to your computers, can't they? You just don't want it. Okay, all threats removed sound. So that should make the um the thingy work now. Here we go. Oh my god. Are you serious? No way. To go. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, God. Oh, the night vision doesn't stay on. You have to, like, click it on. Okay. Fuck that, man. Right. Mr. Roy Carson has um, texted me anyway. Oh no, it was Evelyn, wasn't it? Oh, what was it about? Weird dream. Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on the right now. You've got to watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Haha, <laughs> yeah, hold on. Like, what kind of place doesn't have a TV? Like, who doesn't have a TV in there? Oh my god. So we could get up literally at any time and go and check the cameras. This is... For me that's quite scary and quite making me feel very very uncomfortable because if i can see someone in the house that i'm in i'm not exactly going to like it am i let's watch the fuck me what was that that was creepy welcome cooking jeffrey i'm jeffrey jeffrey seems a bit weird and a bit creepy cat food I love it's on, are you watching? It's Cat food. It's this is so weird. Mm. It's my favorite dish. This is weird. Why are we watching someone cooking cat food? Listen to the sizzle. Listen to the sizzle. Fry like the cat food. Suckling upon a mother's bosom. Oh, lucky baby. Can you hear that? Okay, now while that's cooking, we can work Jeffrey really on an just be Jeffrey sometimes. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, and some milk. To start, we pour the milk into the glass. What the hell am I watching? Next, we dip the cardboard into Roy. the milk. 
Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand grocery list. Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. I gotta get groceries? The guy didn't stock up for me? This looks amazing. That is weird. Just turn that shit off. I ain't watching that shit no more. Right, let's go get the groceries. And where did he say the cash was? Sorry, there's cash in my nightstand. Ah, God, I hate these ads. I'm sorry, Eve. I think I gotta run. This dude's on my ass right now. Wants me to get groceries in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night! Yeah, I mean, it's a bit late, isn't it, to be getting freaking groceries. No, but you're missing the best part. I know, it sucks balls, man. Um, I mean, the guy could have literally just said, look, there's something in the in the fridge. Could you just go and get some groceries tomorrow morning? Like, could you not? Like, I, what even time is it? What even is the time? 10 o'clock at night, man. And you want me to go out there and get freaking groceries? Jeez, oh, Louise. Cash. It's not a lot of cash, is it? How much is it? I don't know. I don't know if it's a 10 or a 100 or a 1. Alright, let's go to the shop then, I guess. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Oh, so I'm not just doing, like... I'm not getting anything for me. I was That wasn't for me anyway. That was just for him when he gets back. Seriously? You can take Alex bike. It's outside the garage. Great. I can take Alex bike. Yay. Oh my god, I've got to ride it as well. I don't even know where the fucking shop is. Ah. Just go this way. Ah! Car. Oh. Jeez Louise. In the middle of the night, I'm going to get my groceries. In the middle of the night. 9.22pm. I thought it was 9.59 when we left. <laughs> okay, is this the shop? Is it Crooks? Do I have to go to Crooks? I think it's here, isn't it? Call my name, I'm yours to tame in the middle of the night. Where does the oh, I just yeah, I chuck it on the floor. Yeah, take that, Alec. Do you know what I found? We always go to a store in these games, don't we? We always go to a store. Hey, sir, be a sale, be a sale, be a sale. Right, what did we need? We need okay, we need ranch. Strawberry belly, belly, strawberry jelly, chocolate spread, milk and eggs, get garden peas, get honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only ketchup, and don't forget the milk and eggs. Don't forget the milk and eggs, so that's ketchup. Do I need a, can I get a basket? I think I can, I might be able to get like a basket or something. Why can't I put it in the basket? Excuse me. What? How'd you put it in the basket? Hey, son, do you work here? No, I'm just here shopping. Ha, huh. okay, son. What is it? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? Uh, hold on. Oh, how nice of you. I'll be right over uh, here. This is me. This is a woman in my way, look. She was all up in my business. I, I, I need to just throw it down there, I think, because... Is that mustard? There we go. Where did he say he was? No, this is for you, look! Oh, 
maybe I just put the basket down for now. Excuse me, sir! Very well there, it is. Ha! Give mustard. <laughs> Thank you, son. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, and speak of the devil. Turner and Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah, he hopped to that other chick so quick. I didn't even realize. Don't listen to him, but dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more of like a goth. Goth milf energy. Are you guys done? Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. You should come with us, dude. We're going to the movies after this. I have to house it. You mean at Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo. Especially since his parents split up. Yeah, you guys have fun. Alright, dude. See you at school on Monday then. See you around, Andy. <laughs> what the hell, man? I think it was already in my basket. So, let's just put it in my basket. There we go. I think you have to have the basket already. Loki, I didn't like the guy. I didn't hate him either. And then we need ranch. Ranch is, uh, that's ranch. There we go. Get that in there. Um, and then I need, um, so I've got ranch and ketchup. I need milk and eggs. Milk and eggs, milk and eggs, milk and eggs. Orange juice, beer. I don't want beer, man. Wait, is that milk? A oh, milk. Milk. Mulch. And eggs. Where do the eggs live? And is jelly like jam? I think it is, isn't it? It's not like our jelly. Our jelly is like wobbly. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on a plate. Ah, me things are falling out me basket. I think that's jelly. I think that's the strawberry jelly. We needed honey as well. Get that in there. It's going straight in my basket. Here's a chocolate spread. Got some chocolate spread in there. I like tinned peas. Baked beans. Oh, garden peas. Got some garden peas in there. Let's just give this a shuffle around. Yep. Oh, they are. Okay, they're the eggs. You don't keep eggs in the fridge. Go in your cupboard. Silly billies. Rice. Um... Uncle Tony's long grain rice. Sweet. Kind of what the fuck? Why just my groceries are like just flying midair. It's crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the Coke. There we go. I'm just gonna have a glass, a can of Coke. Right. That looks heavy, kid. Should I bill all that for you? Oh, uh, Mr. Carson didn't buy me, um, enough. Didn't he? Mr. Carson didn't leave him enough money to buy extra stuff, so I've got to put the fucking thing back. I couldn't even have a can of Coke because he didn't leave me enough money. God's sake. Thanks for shopping at Nux. You have a good one. How the fuck am I supposed to buy? <laughs> Carry this back on a bike. Thank you. Well, at least no one stole that. It's good, isn't it? Right then. I must have a basket, eh? I'll go this way. Yep. We're going the right way, I think. I think either way, it would have probably taken you. You'd have got to a point where it took you back. 9.46. That took me however long to get there. I feel like I was gone like for hours. I had to pee again. I was starting to feel a little hungry at around about that time. Wasn't that interesting? Is this my house? Is this the house I'm looking after? Fuck. No, you know. I don't think it is, is it? Where's the house? I 
got the groceries, I had to take care of the house now. Do you just see how that is just floating there? What the hell? It's just crazy. I kept the groceries in the kitchen. Very good. Very good, sir. Let's go for another wee wee then. Let's not get it all over the um, rim either, shall we? I could have just walked through there. I walked all the way around. Oh, God. Crazy. I have to go this way, don't I? There we go. I will get the hang of this, guys. I will get the hang of this layout of this house. It is very confusing, though. Right, we Shut the door. I don't know why no here, but... Oh, I'd make a terrible man. Look at that, it's going everywhere. I wee for a really long time. There we go. Let's wash the hands. Oh, we tried to wash the hands. At least I ain't, I ain't no tramp. Right, I'm assuming I've got to put, like, these, do something with these groceries or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's put them on that. I, like I said, I had to get on my schoolwork for Monday. Oh, so we need to go back into the office then. Get on with my schoolwork. Andy Reynolds. Fuck me. I'm not going to the party, dude. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Dude, like, seriously, do I really need to do this? Oh, my God. Roy Carson. Div oh. Divorce. Roy Carson, co-founder of BM Media, claims to receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. Oh, shit. So that's going to be who's going to come. Roy Carson, co-founder, yeah. Hunter News. It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrity's personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the CEO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumoured infidelity that underwent within the said relationship. And it's got a picture of the fucking house. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying... Shut up. Is actively trying to reach out to her. So you, the reader, stays updated about the situation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like, I don't want to do this. I'm not answering the door. There is no freaking way I am answering that door. Where's that dog? He's in his bed. Thank fuck for that. Hmm. I'm not doing it, I'm not answering, I'm not in. Nobody's home, fuck off. What am, what am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna do my homework. Someone's at the front door. I couldn't have worked like that. I'm not answering the front door. Because last time I did that, in a game like this, I freaking died. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza depot, sir. I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium sized pepperoni pizza, sir. You must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of. Um. Roy Carson? Ha! <laughs> it's pizza! <laughs> Take the pizza, cause I'm pretty fucking peckish, alright? 
And if he did order me a pizza, that's very nice of him, seeing as I've just gone out and gone his grocery shopping. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? It's probably not very safe to be here right now, and I forgot my raincoat at the shop. Uh, no. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. Yep. We were not. We were not letting that guy into our house. I'm sorry. But there's just too many. This is a horror game, okay? And you just can't trust anybody. Like, I'm sorry. You decided to get a job as a pizza boy. You knew what weather what conditions you would be working in. Um, I'm pretty sure you can go back to fucking... You've just delivered the pizza in the, in the wet, in this weather. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get back to your pizza restaurant shop place. I got freaking pizza. Thought I could watch some TV whilst eating. Shall I just... Can I just put this flashlight job down? Because I'm just walking around with a flashlight. It's on the dining room table, guys. So... I got pizza. Somebody ordered me pizza. This is amazing. Why are we watching this on Channel 10? So, do you know? I don't want to watch this shit. Ray Carson. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy oh, you could have just told me this before I got freaked out. Yeah, thanks. Well, this is a creepy um, TV program. God. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. Oh, do you know I could just eat a pizza right about now? Spooks. What better way to spend your evening than by watching a spooky, spooky film? I will not watch anything. Check. Spooky, unless I'm with somebody. Work. You'll have to spend the night. I'm also a very noisy eater, apparently. If you tell me what the radius of two squared is, I'll think about sparing you. My name is Jack Barnett. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. This is weird. Can I use the bathroom? Hope everything's okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm eating pizza, watching a floating body. This is weird. This is literally me right now. Watching a fucking... I don't like this. I don't like this! Freedom! I had someone at the door again. Uh-uh. I'm eating my pizza first, bitch. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come on down. I really don't want, like... I really don't want to get up and. I'm the toilet man. Come over here. I'm the toilet. I'm the toilet. I'm in the toilet man. I'm the toilet man. Hello. I'm the toilet man. Come on. I'm fucking Hello. shitting myself. Sorry, always, but uh, good night, Noah. I hope everything's okay. Sorry, I got caught with work. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? We traveled the world and the seven seas. <gasps> There's a woman walking around. No way. She go. Poor little Zeke like look at him, he's so cute. Did you see the woman? What is that on the floor? 
Can you see that on the floor? I don't even, I don't even want to do this. Who is it? Oh my gosh. to make of it. Someone bought me flowers. Don't want them. question by an unknown number. I assumed it was a wrong number. Yeah, I would assume that as well. Like, that was weird. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Do our homework. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch on. Yeah. Let's, um, let's do the, um, homework. One thirty-six a.m. What the fuck? While I was in the middle of my school, let the power went off. Five unread messages. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine. If you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? In that moment, I was almost certain that it had to be a par another prank by Turner. I just knew guys like him very well. I mean, yeah. Besides him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house-sitting alone. I, why would you tell people that? I don't know what I need to do. Dog. Oh my god. Zeke! Why is this why I don't like dogs outside, man? You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. 
I don't think it is. I saw a crazy lady on the camera. This is crazy. I hate things like this. It freaks me the fuck out. I'm just gonna sit here in the silence. Or I could get on with some more schoolwork, actually, because, um, it is late. I had to get back to my schoolwork for Monday. Engrossment. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Okay. So you're taking a little bit longer to do his work. I heard something downstairs. I heard a knife. Oh my god, that's not over. The oven's on. I could swear in my life I did not turn that oven on. <gasps> Someone walking around outside. Oh, this is horrible. I hate this. I don't want to move, I just want to stay here. Well, the doggy's asleep. My heart is pounding, like I remember I had to confront him. <sighs> In that moment, school work became the least of my worries. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing.
He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Definite call. Not cool. Question mark. Dude, he's at my place right now. It's not him. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. I attributed all of that to my lack of sleep. The only thing I could think of is at the time is to keep an eye on the security monitors. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Oh my god, someone's just walking upstairs. Holy shit, she's there. I froze and get staring at the screen in pure horror. She's got a knife, man. She's killed me twice. Three times, probably. this bitch where the fuck is she going there we go Ooh. we are just around the corner like around here She was right outside the door to the room I was in. Fuck. I thought my heart would pound right out my chest. Yeah, me too. Noah? Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door. We just need to talk. There is nothing to talk about. I've always been no nothing but nice to you. You always treated me like shit. I know everything. I know you left me for her. It's different with her. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. You know I can turn you into the p police. Oh. Do it, and I will fucking kill both of you. I'm going in here. and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. 
though by the time they arrived, she'd already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Sorry, I turned my mic off so that I can get caught because last time I did a silent one, it picks up that much background noise. Clara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing meth. I tried to get help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. I, I, you think? She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. What the fuck, she killed me twice? But of course, the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that, that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the, of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. She will not be bothering me again. Thank God that is overdone. My heart was pounding. That was so good. <sighs> That was so good, it was so terrifying. Do you know what? I really like these games, but at the same time, I really fucking hate them. And it's so scary because it is so true to life. Like, and I think that's what makes it worse. Like, you play these games um, where it's like supernatural or things that are making you jump. And I love a good jump scare, don't get me wrong, I love it. It's, there, there are, they're amazing. But I think what makes this so uncomfortable and so like nerve-wracking is the fact that this could potentially happen in real life anyways guys i really enjoyed that game hope you enjoyed it too if you want to play this game for yourself by all means go ahead the link is in my description if you liked today's video guys make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i will be trying to upload as and when i can in the meantime of not doing housework training a dog and having some me time as well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.